What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I wanna give a huge shout out before we start the video off to Southern Bread clothing company they sent out this awesome shirt to me i've never had a camo shirt in my whole life never in my life have i owned a camo shirt so when they reached out to me and they hey let's work i said you're damn right let's work i need a camo shirt so shout out to southern bread clothing i said they they're very active on social media i'm going to put their instagram in the bio below make sure you guys go check them out hey my first camo shirt of my whole life it's such a cool shirt that I love the design. It's very, very, very simple, very basic. You guys know how I am. I like simple clothing with a lot of color. Simple color, I love it. Check them out, link in the description below. Use code BOWTIE10 for checkout. You get 10% off. Hit, this, hit the link below, it's somewhere down here. Ah! Super excited, it's my first set. I've never had a set of these. They're not for my truck either. Kinda upset. They were out of stock for my truck. What are you laughing at over there? That nasty laugh that you got going on. Jimmy, you need some of these, for real. Look. Jimmy. Look. The McGoy's upper ball joint caps. Those are beautiful, look. Oh, those are hard. Yeah, those are hard. That's good. That's, I mean, those are heavy, too. Those hard. Heavy doesn't always make them better. Heavy always. Yeah, yeah look. It's just like that. It like goes all the way down and then comes all the way back up. Here, lock it and then, uh, and then hit the unlock. See if it'll do the. I don't know how to get it to do because remember Maybe when if I turn it on when we first walked up, it did like the whole thing. And then it blinks with the turn signals too. some side markers on this 21 F1 mini. That's cool. The truck itself is real nice too though. That's good. For the TIS. Got some spike lug nuts for him. That's good though. You don't see too many 21 F-150s lifted. Not too many people done it yet. Dang. Jimmy, when you gonna go show me this truck? Whenever. When you gonna show me this truck? Whenever. It's in the back. You've been playing games. Gang, gang. Gang. Bread, gang. Ooh. That thing. Thanging down there. My man Denali King's been in like three videos in a row. We outside. Three videos in a row. Shout out Denali King. You broke his truck. What are you doing, cheese ball? Fish cheese ball. I got a question for you. I got a question for you. Step into my office. Into your office? Do you know who it is? Hold on. Do you know who it is? Shut the door behind me. Have a look. I'm in your office. Have a look down. Who? Who is it? Whoa! Shout out Dolph. Shout out Dolph. That's crazy. The ACW special. The ACW special. ACW special. Can I touch it? Can I touch it? Is this real? Can I touch it? Whoa, it's real. It's real. Is this 21 or 22? 2021 Hellcat Red Eye. This Atlanta Custom Wraps guy is not messing around. Atlanta Custom Wraps. Look at this. I know, these guys don't fuck around. This is not a joke. 
Look, I'm going to throw it out there. They're expensive as hell, but they're the best. They are the best. I'm not, I mean, you can be expensive when you're the best, right? Who cares, right? Who cares? You're the best. I would pay double to get a good job on something like Who this. Who cares? Who actually cares? Because they are the best. I think uh, he's got Corsa exhaust done too, didn't he? And didn't you get some new wheels for your girlfriend? Yeah. <laughs> I'll go get it. Hey, 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 hey. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Look, Jimmy, 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 Jimmy. Somebody told me that your crazy ass went and bought some 26 by 16s for your girlfriend. Is that true? Yes, sir. For your girlfriend? Yeah, my girlfriend. Jimmy, 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 Jimmy. Are you kidding me? You're joking, right? No. I didn't even know you had a girlfriend, Jimmy. Jimmy, let me see this truck. Stop playing around. Bring this truck up here. Hey, what did, what did he say on Talladega Nights? It's like looking up Pam Anderson's skirt, baby. I don't think, I don't think he said that. If you, don't, if you don't use that as a real audio, I will fist fight you. That's a good real audio. Pam Anderson's skirt, baby. What did he say on Talladega Nights? It's like looking up Pam Anderson's skirt, baby. Yeah! That's it right there. If you don't I'm use it, if you don't I'm use that, that, hey, I have the videos for please, sale. Five dollars. Please send me that so I can use that as a reel. That's five a bucks. great reel audio. Five bucks. Fuck you. Five bucks. <laughs> send me that. Hey. That's my. That's my voice. That's your copyright over knock. here. Knock knock. Knock knock. These nuts. No knock knock. That's no. what you need to knock Guess knock. Who's there? Knock Guess knock. Who's there? Supply what? and demand. These nuts. Supply and demand, buddy. <laughs> Ten dollars. Price just went up. Pamela An Pam Anderson skirt. I never heard it. You had to refilm it. <laughs> It's never as good the second time. I got hey, I got it. I got you on camera. Can you get out of the I way? Got so I got you on camera. Room? Yeah, I'll get out of the way. I'm sorry. Jimmy, 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 Jimmy. Jimmy, Jimmy. So, Candy Chevy is no more. Candy Chevy is no more. Hey, what are we now? What is it? Forgiato Jimmy. Forgiato Jimmy on Instagram. Y'all, y'all stop joking and go show some love to Forgiato Jimmy on Instagram. Hey, Alex. So, hey. Is that my phone or no, your phone? No, that's mine. What are you doing later? What am I doing later? You um, get on some Fortnite, clap some cheeks. Probably, uh, probably drop it rocky with the squad. You busy right now? I, I need my douchey Oakleys if we're gonna have oh, this you conversation. Doing something right now? Oh, I didn't. I need my douche boy Oakleys if we're gonna have this conversation right now. Sorry, I have a phone call. You're gonna have to call me back. <laughs> Hello. Forgiato Jimmy, y'all, y'all stop. Alter ego has shifted. No more candy Chevy. So when Jimmy first got this truck done, it was a nine inch McGoy's lift, 20, 24 by 12 fuels, which you can see back there on the Silverado. It's the red ones. He had the red 24 by 12 fuel Tritons and the 37 inch gladiators we've uh, since then upgraded. This is one of the last seven to 10 inch McGoy's kits. This truck is set at 10 inches on the suspension lift. And we got a three inch new body style 19 to 21 three inch body lift, which we now do at Southern Tire. Three inch body lift. If you guys are wanting to go up to 12 to 13 inches, we can do that. It's about 1500 bucks, parts included, labor included. Drop it off for a day, we'll get it done. Three inch body lift. So we're sitting at about 13 inches all the way around. Look at the, look at the wheels though. God damn it, Jimmy. 26 by 16 Forgiatos with, with the floating cap. With the floating cap, we got some uh, double row, infinite off-road wheel lights back there and the 39, 15, 50, 26 Versatire MTs. I love the way these Versatire looks. 
they, there was a lot of speculation. There was a lot of speculation about the Versa tires. They turned out really good, Jimmy. It actually does look really good. Not too big, not too small, you know. But just perfect. Good, just know? perfect, good daily driver setup. You know, you know, you know the vibes. You know the vibes. 26, 16, Ford Giotto, the wheel lights, the 39s. That orange is crazy, Jimmy. That orange. And you know, we gotta show love to the McGoys kit down there. Gotta show love to the McGoys kit. So we're sitting at about 13 inches all the way around with the 40s, with the 26 by 16s. Jimmy, the fact that you spent so much money on your girlfriend really upsets me. You know that? Look at him over there working. Oh, yeah? We might have to fist fight, Jimmy. Hey, they were out there swinging at each other the other day. Yeah, they were. You want to see? They were out there swinging. Like bloody nose and all. Yeah. They were swinging at each other. Left and right. In the parking lot. <laughs> a lot of you may remember some of this truck was chrome. A lot of the pieces on this truck were chrome. So the, the grill insert here was chrome. The front bumper valence or the front piece, big piece of the bumper was chrome. The caps on the mirrors were chrome. And the rear bumper back here was chrome. All of these are actually inserts. I'm not sure where he got these from. But if you can see here, they're all inserts that go over the bumper. So that middle one's an insert. This outer piece here is an insert. Tinted the tail lights, which is really nice. It already had the color match door handles. This piece up here, the mirror cap was a, was a, uh, was a cover, an insert. All the bumper pieces were inserts. And to be honest, if you didn't tell me it was an insert, I would have never known. It looks wrapped or it looks like a trail boss, like it comes factory that way. Something that, you know, Jimmy had decided to do that I had no, no idea he was doing. And if he wouldn't have told me, I would have never known that's what he did. Now, obviously I noticed that it was a different color, but the fact, I mean, it looks so good for being an insert. I would have never have thought that an insert could look that good on a truck. It looks factory like a trail boss does because the trail boss comes with that all black front end. But I think it turned out really good. Going up three inches, 26, 16s, the 39, the Versa tires, doing all the uh, the chrome deletes all the way around the truck. We're gonna change all the accents. So the bullet antenna, the bow tie, all the badges, all the decals on the truck gonna be orange. Got a bunch of orange accents on the way. Jimmy, we're gonna have to do the logos on the control arms orange, buddy. We got we got to switch it up in there. We got to do something. But hey, truck turned out really good. I'm 16 wide, you're just what a fucking move, though. I'll tell you that. Logo on the lift. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to do all the uh, accent pieces orange, too. That's going to look really good. You need some traction bars. Yeah. I got. I know a guy. I know a guy that can get it done. What about back here? I love the lights, though. What would you do back here? The tire. Oh, I forgot, yeah. Yeah, Jimmy's one of the only customers. There's only a few that we've done. Look, how long is this sitting up at the shop before we put this on, Jimmy? Whoa. Look at that, though. Look at that back there. Who do y'all know has five Forgiatos? That's crazy. That's a big motherfucker back there. It's so tall, people won't even see it, though, Jimmy. Whoa. Yeah, they will. The wheel lights look good. That was a good touch. Shout out to Infinite Off-Road. Great product, too. I look, You know what I love? You know what my favorite part is? The floats. These, these spikes look so big on this wheel, though. Jimmy, the truck looks beautiful, man. It turned out great. I have some really exciting news to share with you guys. One, so we're, we're going to come back out and look at this later. I'm super excited. I forgot he was bringing this today. We're going to be doing a little bit of a series on my other channels. So make sure you guys hit the link in the description. Subscribe to my other channel. I got a new video dropping this weekend on the channel as well or within the next 24 hours. So if you see this video, there's a good chance the new video has dropped. I'm finishing up a fire pit and uh, we grilled some lobster as well at my house. So make sure you guys go check out that video. But we're going to be looking at uh, Leonard's John Boat build over here. But I got some really cool news to tell you guys. One, by the time you guys see this video, we will have the keys in our hand for the Any Level Lift Kit. We will have the keys in our hands and it will be in the process of being started. Now the first steps of the Any Level Lift Kit are gonna be that we, you know, we gotta get the drive shaft out and we gotta get the, uh, the steering box out so we can send it off to any level so they can modify it. So we have some stuff that we need to send off before we can actually pull the truck in and get started actually on the full build itself, which is really exciting. But the good news here is by the time you guys see this video, the keys will be in my hands and the, the truck will be in our possession to get started on sending those pieces off. So officially the build will have started. I know you guys have been super excited. You guys have been super patient with us. It's a, it's a long process, but we are going to start on the any level lift kit this week and I'm so freaking excited. The other thing that I'm really excited to tell you guys about is you see the bow tie over here, right? You see the bow tie? I got Jimmy's old red wheels on it, right? And I've really been going back and forth about buying the red wheels. 
I, I like it. A lot of you guys in the comments like it. A lot of you guys on Instagram like it. But some, something about it just doesn't sit right with me. In all seriousness, I love the red. I really do. I've always wanted red wheels. And this isn't to say that I may not end up with red wheels at some point in my life anyway. And I will tell you guys that I am going to be color matching the headlights. The, the headlights will be color matched and we're going to darken up the, uh, the cheese blocks over here. Which I'm really excited about. But most importantly, red wheels. This isn't to say that I may not have red wheels at some point in my life, but I just, to be honest, the 37s are, are cool, but I just, I can't do the 12 wides. Something about the 12 wides just, it just, it doesn't, it doesn't do it for me. It really doesn't. The 12, I love the red going down the road. Somebody sent me a video of it going down the road the other day, and I'm just like, damn, that shit looks good. But something about the 12 wides and the 37s, I just can't do it. I can't do it. So long story short, the the red wheels aren't staying. The red wheels gotta go. And I, I think Philip might end up putting those on his white Silverado. If you guys didn't see the white Silverado, be sure you guys go check out my most recent video. The video before this, Philip got a new Silverado and we're, and we're potentially gonna be putting a nine inch lift and maybe these red wheels on it, which will look really, really nice. But I ordered some wheels. Listen, listen, hear me out, hear me out. Every time, ever since I got rid of the 375s, all you guys held this whole channel. The only thing you guys have ever seen me do trade wheels for this put these on for a couple of days i kept these for a week I had these for two weeks i had these for a weekend i've never actually ordered just a new set of wheels and i'm here to tell you guys that i've actually ordered a brand new set of wheels for the Silverado in the size that I really truly want to go with. If any of you are OGs to the channel, you guys know that there's one thing that I've always wanted for this truck. A specific size, a specific type of wheel, a specific type of tire, a specific color. There's something I've always wanted. This is the first step to getting to that. The wheels have been ordered. I'm not gonna tell you guys what wheels they are. If you guys are OGs to the, to the channel, you should know what size they're gonna be. Technically, we've already ordered tires too that I didn't know about. But I got wheels and tires on the way for the bow tie, for that wide bow tie. Wheels and tires. Again, I'm not gonna tell you what they are, but I'm just letting you know, in this video, they have been ordered. As I'm filming this, when you guys see this, they're shipping out Monday and they'll be here later next week. So you guys will have this video by the end of the week. New wheels on the way for the bow tie. Something that I could only have dreamed of. And it's a company that I, I'm just like, way just, it's a blessing to be able to work with such a company like this and I look forward to the relationship that we're gonna be able to build and it's not a company that you guys have heard me talk about really at all on the channel either, which is the craziest part of this. It's like, I'm, I'm just, I'm so freaking excited and I'm excited to tell you guys about it and I hope you guys will stay tuned, subscribe to the channel because we got a lot of cool stuff on the way, but hey, I got wheels ordered, baby. Let's get this bread. Whole squad out here today. Whole squad out here today. Jay, you gonna give me a thumbnail before you leave? No? No, okay. See how it is? See how it is? Boy, look at that big mother... God. What are you thumbnail? I'm cussing. Gosh, I still cuss on this channel. Jimmy's truck. That thing looks so good. The blue one's definitely bigger. What are you at, 15 inches now? Yeah. Holy sh... 26 by 16 RBPs. 40, 15, 50, 26 Furies. Hey, the, the upper control arm caps are new. That's cool. The upper control arm caps are new. That two-tone lift kit though, will always be one of my favorite trucks. Always. I don't want peace, I want problems. Always. That thing looks so good. I love that color too. This thing's huge. Okay. Oh, probably your suspension might have fallen out or something. <laughs> yeah, piece of shit truck. Okay. Used ass junkyard truck. Used wheels. I'm just kidding, Jimmy. You know I love you. I love how the steps come. Oh, you know what it was? The steps coming up. I don't believe you, Jimmy. Look at that F that don't move, though. Your truck looks small compared to these. 
<laughs> Merry fucking Christmas. <laughs> Jimmy with cigarette in his hand, shitting on him. <laughs> yeah, I love, I love the new Silverados. I really do. Floor it. Floor it. You'll burn out. Yeah, you won't do a burnout, Jimmy. Uh, good. Is your truck unlocked? Just look how big this freaking thing is. It's a mystery, I bet. Is it really? It's probably why you never, and no steps either. No <laughs> steps, get out of here. Look. Look, I'm standing straight up. Look where the freaking mirror is. This trash right here. This is, that thing's big for no reason. Why would you want a truck this big? I mean, it looks good. Uh -huh. it, it looks cool, but that fucker's big. Jeez. Well, he's over here taking pictures, being weird. I can't go over there and film because he's got to take his Instagram pictures <laughs> and his reels for Instagram. Jake from Southern Tower. Yeah. This is a pano picture. What are you doing over here? Just fucking, I'm freaking taking pictures for your uh, thumbnail. <laughs> That's a panorama. It is, watch. watch. Watch what happens when you put that into a real picture. Trash. What do you mean trash? You'd use it. I'd use it for something else. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> Later tonight. <laughs> is that what you're into? Trucks? <laughs> you know, we're not taking... What are you doing? Oh, man. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Get the fuck out of here. Look at the magic happen. I think. What the other picture look like though? I'll go check and see which one I like better, and then I'll send you the one I like. Okay. Oh no, it's fine. I got all the other pictures. I'm at. It's too it's too wide. I can't even get it on the on the full frame. All right, so on the right side, right side we got 10 inch McGoys, three inch body lift, 26 by 16s, 39 Versa tires, and he's got the fifth one, the Ford Giados. I like it. I like it. On the left side, the Voodoo Blue, Mr. Rob himself, 10 inch McGoys kit, three inch body lift, two inch leveling kit. So we got about 13 inches versus about 15 inches, 26 by 16s, and you're on 40s, right? So technically speaking, there should be about a three inch height difference towards Rob over what Jimmy's truck is. Similar tire, similar wheel setup, very similar tire setup. The 39s would probably end up being about the same as the 40s if they're, you know, a true 40. But there is technically about a two inch difference on the Voodoo Blue truck over Jimmy's truck. But in my opinion, I really think this is the way that these trucks are going. I think this is the route of the new body style Silverados. That 12 inch, 13 inch style lift kit is just, it's the move in my opinion. It really is. Yeah, I got, I got people that, that, you know, that come into the shop that are scared to go six inches, let alone 13, 15 inches. That's crazy though. This is the way. This is this is what it, this is what lifting silver autos has become. I love it. That shit looks so good. Let me know which one you guys like in the comments below. You guys like Forgiato Jimmy? Yes, sir. Forgiato Jimmy, let's go. You know, you know, Rob is iconic on the channel at this point. My most viewed video of all time on YouTube. I don't even have to say anything about this truck. But look, let me know what you guys, which truck you guys like better in the comments. They've got their own different aspects, you know. Something about these four Giados yeah, sure. is just really just sitting well with me. Wink, oh, wink. Geez. Something just feels at home there. You know what I mean? That's, that's all I'm saying. And they spin, baby. Look. Oh. <laughs> do that. <laughs> and they spin. <laughs> well, Goyz is just taking over the game, though, for real. I've always loved the colors on this truck. The little accents. He's got like that the gray accents on it too. I had said it a little bit earlier in the clip, but the, the McGoy's caps are new. 
on this truck. I do know that. It's a beautiful truck, though. Let me know what you get. Let me know which one you guys like better in the comments. I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you guys comment below. Let me know which truck you like. Let me know if you guys like the new 12, 13, 14, 15 inch style on the Silverados. I got something new on the way that you guys will see later this week. I got the any level lift kit getting started this week. So much amazing stuff coming to the channel. Like and subscribe. Go show some love to my second channel. I'll see you guys next time. Let's get this bread. Get this bread.